All right, Chad, it's time. It's Pokey time! Pokey! Oh, wait. Are we about to them a man? You want the lawyer to do their job. You don't want to have to talk to them. I just wanted to. Oh my God! What were they doing, Pokey? Little Fuck! Little what? What is the T? That's not the mirror. <laughs> that is not the mirror, okay? What the fuck? Not mindful at all of your lawyer. Like, hello? Tell that bitch to get her job hello. done, dog. Today, I am going to the OTV Comfy Cafe pop up. I'm so excited. What is sad? Like, it is literally dropping. Cafe and having people come in and out. And they did a specific, like, time for, like, friends and family. Oh my god. Oh my god. Atomic, like, how did we not think about this? This is so perfect. They literally just stole what your mother does for free on the corner and just created a whole concept for uh, fine dining. Wow. Family, so I'm gonna go say hi. I also, I got some Sunny Angels custom made for some of the OTV oh, crew and that's I hope so to give cool. it to them today if they're there. Sorry, every time I move my head, my sunglasses fall, but taking y'all along with me, let's go. That's Hello. memories right there. Hello. So cute. No, that's Hello. iconic. Hello. So cute. You guys have beautiful hair. Thank you. Oh it's iconic, dude. That's so sweet. Chad, that's what my, my hair looks like. Yeah, I saw it. It was so fun. It was so mindful. The craziest gossip session. We hid away from everyone. Don't even know. You don't want to know. know. This shit is not safe for Twitch, Reddit, X, nothing. I just gotta say, we're both doing it for the plot. Oh. Hello, beautiful people. Today, I'm gonna take you through my current workout routine. As of late, sometimes I, still, I, just don't I either think go to my building like gym exists, alone, which, like, oh my god, it's so nice being. to have a gym in your building. I just don't or think it's, it's like a thing. A I think she's just like an entity. Like you guys saw in the last vlog. Or like the, what the fuck was that? I just like to watch he... a little YouTube video follow along. What kind of yoga, camera angle Pilates, was that? It was all, I've actually all me. this week started um, a 30-day yoga challenge, and I could not oh. recommend it more. It's by this girl on YouTube, Adriana, Adrian. She's so good. And you know how yoga can be like hard as shit sometimes and Hell kind of yeah. not fun? She makes it just the perfect amount of like chill and just a little bit challenging. Like you actually feel like you're progressing to the point that I feel like I could actually do the whole 30 day challenge. I did not think that I could. So I super duper recommend that. Okay. So basically alongside doing this 30 day challenge, I still feel just wait, fine wait. to like go. Nah, hold on, Chad. We got to lock in now. You know, the yoga junk be crazy. I'm chill. like terrible. And just a little Bitch. I'm she terrible with my uh, flexibility you know right now. Hold on, Adriana, man. Hold on. Adrian. Yoga with Adri Adrian. I think it's a. I think it's Adrina. Like, oh, whoa. Hold on now. We're getting, we're getting red pilly. Watch out for them Adrina Chrome niggas. Chat. Hold on. The frogs are people. Hold on. Watch out. Okay. Yoga with Adrian. Aha. <laughs> we're locked in, chat. We're locked in, man. Listen, let's get in there, man. Let's, we're losing weight this year, man. We're getting sexy, I'm telling you. When January pops up and we have that sexy-ass glizzy gang meetup and you fuckers pull up and you all look just like Atomic's mother, just ugly, useless, dried up, and just ugh. I'm telling you right now, all of us sexy motherfuckers, we're going to be roasting y'all. We're going to be like, yo, see, look at that. You should have got your shit together, got sexy with us. 
But after we get done roasting you, we're going to get you right. We're going to get you right. Let's believe that. We're not going to leave you behind. We're going we're gonna to bring you to the better better side with us. You feel me? That's how it's going to be. Joe, you cover the whole screen? Okay. <laughs> She's so good. And you know how yoga... The day Joe does yoga, Chloe will be able to find a boyfriend. Nah, Kage is coming for the three. Bro, bro. It can be like hard as shit sometimes and kind of not fun. She makes it just the perfect amount of like chill and just a little bit challenging. Like you actually feel like you're progressing to the point that I feel like I could actually do the whole 30 day challenge. I did not think that I could. So I super duper recommend that. So basically alongside doing this 30 day challenge, I still feel just fine to like go exercise and work out. It feels like more of a flexibility, full body challenge as opposed to like girl, I'm that. fucking dying. Let me show you guys my gym routine. Right now. Oh, we got the we got the roots the roots lean. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, we gotta work on that running form. We oh yeah, we gotta we gotta call somebody. We gotta call somebody about that sweetheart. Ain't no way the knees don't be hurting. Yeah, you doing that? You doing that? Just just about just about right. Some oh, she like them shoes. Chat, do you think anybody got a uh, call her from No Two Ways? You know, you she liked that, that like No Two Ways style shoes. You know they about to the, the JME collab uh, just dropped. If y'all haven't gotten got that yet, or early access just dropped. That shit's fine. Cause don't those kind of look like No Two Ways kind of? She kind of got the same little design. Okay. I'm done the workout that up, I would usually do at the gym on my own, but since I'm here anyways, I'm gonna do the next day of the 30 day yoga challenge. And then usually I might go on the treadmill or Stairmaster, or just do some sort of like five minute cardio to flush things out. I think I might just go for a walk. So I'll do the yoga, little walk, and I'm done. Let's do that. Yeah, I need that because I need some. I need way better hip flexibility. You know what I'm saying? Right now, my hips Genuinely, are not. Genuinely, my hipping. favorite thing to They're do after hipping, a gym chat. session is to eat. Also, sorry, my hair looks literally kooky beans. I'm having some jerk chicken. Seriously, this chicken is so freaking mean. Some cauliflower rice. You should scroll spinach, up, Chloe, and see well what Kage as said about you. Halibut ceviche with grain chips. It's like a snack and a snack, and of course. You see it? It's crazy, bro. You see me? I wouldn't stand for that. I wouldn't let a nigga say that to me. You know what I'm saying? No cap. That's fighting words, bro. That's fighting words. You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. That's fighting words for real. Lock in, man. Lock in. Course. my beloved sriracha like it's just gonna be better with sriracha i didn't make the rules i just follow them i just follow them i don't know what a ceviche is but that's fire it's basically just hot sauce right so let me give you guys some work tea for the last few months things within my team have been shifting maybe some people got fired and maybe some people got hired <laughs> I worked with the same agent. Literally, she's like Things a sister happen. to me. I worked with her for like five or six years. Like, I love her so much. But unfortunately, she retired. So I started working with a new agent like six to eight months ago, something like that. He's really nice. I like him. But it's still like a new working relationship. And then I also brought on a new manager and started working closer with my lawyer. Not Damn, for they're reasons all that new? I want. Not because he's a bad guy. You want your lawyer to do their job. You don't want to have to talk to them you know what i mean inserting this to clarify that what i meant is if you're talking to your lawyer a lot it's probably because you're in the middle of some kind of legal issues whereas yeah, if you don't hear from trouble. your lawyer for a while it probably good. means there are no big problems going on which would be good anyway something yeah. happened recently i can't give you guys too many details Ch 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 it resulted just, in like literally like all a... three of those people my agent hey, my, manager, up, my lawyer all kind of pointing fingers at each other 
and me in the middle watching these like grown men just point fingers at each other. It's kind of like when you're a kid and your parents are fighting and then you feel like you have to be the adult. And I mean like I am an adult, <laughs> but I'm also the client in this situation. Exactly, so I, like I shouldn't I have to, to manage teach all, these bro. people and these relations, which isn't a bad thing. Like sometimes you just have to do that when you're a part of a team, but it just feels kind of weird sometimes when these people are like all guys that are 10 or 20 years older than you. <laughs> and you're like, this little freaking five foot four girl being like eh, 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 eh. and Loki, I think they're kind of scared of me, which is funny. <laughs> Ultimately, it's just been a really new experience and challenge for me to be in a new team of people and try to make sure everyone communicates effectively okay. and gets along well. Yeah. It's been trouble yeah. in paradise. I'm still kind of okay. trying to see things through, give everyone a chance before I decide who do I want to work with super long term and who do I maybe not want I'm to work with long term. Always bringing me his toy. He's like, please like play time. with me, please. So That's my work, T as a blade. Okay. Praying yeah. everything gets resolved. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. We can do it. Yeah. Hello, yeah. I mean, you said trying to be intentional. Not very mindful, dude. Not very, not very, not very classy. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's looks very going to Publix with my brother. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, that's my friend. That's oh, my okay. Friend. He's making me a smoothie because both of you heard But only halfway because, uh... Don't want to be too full. Don't be too full. You want to say hi to the vlog? This is Frank. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so when I come into the gym, what's the plan? So generally when anyone comes in, we work on something that's more whole body, more holistic. So it like balance on the posture. My gamer posture. Better posture, a little bit more whole body focus, so we can achieve this step that we're looking for. A big fat ass. <laughs> God, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, I need that. Shit gonna be crazy for real, you know what I'm saying? Once we really get that thing busting for real. I like that she's classy and mindful queen at the gym, you know what I'm saying? She didn't come dressed like a whore. She came dressed like she knows the face of her father, and I like that. I like that. Hello, post gym. Oh, we're back. I'm eating. My other cameras are dead, so I'm using my phone. But I just wanted to chat with you oh. guys, give you a little dating life update kind of thing. I know last video I talked about my breakup. In reality, my breakup happened like a few months ago. I just like to give myself time to process things before I ever talk about them publicly. I don't know. I feel like breakups can differ so much. I think typically people feel like it needs to be like this really big life event. In some ways it really is, and it's an important thing to like properly process. But also, I think sometimes you can take a step back and just be grateful that that person was in your life for however long it was and understand that there's going to be so many chapters in your life, you know? Some days it's like you're totally like fine. It comes in waves. Some days something random can remind you of it. It makes you realize you have more things All to right, process. Alright, don't forget my super suit. Luckily by the time you guys see this, you know, it'll have been a fair amount of time that I've been processing certain things and to be honest, I feel like the time alone has been so good for me. Like it's made me realize when you're single, there's no one else to blame for anything. <laughs> Everything you like Bags. or don't like about your life, you kind of just have to take responsibility it's all for you. because you're not really sacrificing anything for anyone else. So that's been a really good kind of wake up call or realization. Facts, bro. Really, like it's, so hungry. it's really me. I'm, I'm the piece of shit out here. Bad. That's what I'm saying, life, chat. I don't think y'all understand, bro. Have to go back and date a it's not a time it's mom's fault. Like I always say it is, bro. I know what I want. Like I'm actually picky as hell in a good way. Throughout the years, the more experience you get the more you kind of hone in on what you want and need i was talking to my therapist about this having a family and getting married and having kids and all of these things Aww. they've been goals of mine my whole life and i try not to be too strict with the goal like Could sure it's something that i want but i can be accepting if it's not in the cards for me anyways other random little update that kind of pisses me off but that i think might be funny to share living in la like i really don't meet that many new people 
people kind of really? keep to themselves or like to their friend groups. Even How does when that you go work? to like parties or events or whatever, people are not that friendly unless they oh, know they can like everybody is kind of just in their circle. So, I can respect frankly, that. one of the best ways to date is dating apps. But in the past, when I've tried to use dating apps, everybody reports me because they think I'm catfishing myself. Mm. <laughs> so there's this dating app oh, called so Raya, that and the like, yeah, that's premise fake. of Raya is that you have to apply, and it's supposed to be like a really exclusive dating app with celebrities, and so you have to be accepted into the app. Which can I just say, respectfully, I think is so cringe. Like I think the premise is so cringe. But is it also potentially my best shot at meeting someone half decent? Kind of. Kind of. Two, three months ago, I applied and they finally, they took two months to respond to my application. So I go on the app and they're like, we have an answer for you. I'm like, oh, let's fucking go. I click the next button and it goes, you've been waitlisted. We check our waitlist often and we'll give you an update soon. See, I don't really understand that. Cause like in my head, I'm like, if you gonna go out or if you gonna if you want to meet somebody or you have like interest in meeting somebody like all you got to do is just go out and put yourself out there you know what i'm saying like i'm not putting myself out there right now because i'm not ready for it i'm still fucking lost on the sauce but like if you are interested in some shit you know what i'm saying then throw it out there bro as soon as you see somebody and you like they might be a little cute walk up and say hi you feel me walk up hey you, me, kebabs, what are we doing? Halala, falafel, galala, You know what I'm saying? Let's do that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, you, me. All that. And a bag of chips. Whatever the fuck you're going to do. Like, just get it over with. Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't really understand dating apps. I don't, I don't really get that. Like, we don't, we don't got to do that, bro. Like, just go outside. Ooh. Damn, I'm a dirty bitch. I said, bitch, what do you mean? And I'm not even Sunday, saying Sunday's this out. like, oh, I'm so we'll fine, this and you we'll right into it. I'm so fine and famous, you better accept me. No, what is it, like, Jack? I'm shocked you made me wait two months just to waitlist me. And you know what? Maybe I'm not that fine and famous, but like, I'm pretty cute. Like, I'm not bad. So now I'm kind of mad. Now, out of sheer pettiness, I don't want to fucking use it. You didn't want me, I don't want you. You know what I mean? Anyway. I might just be throwing that out the window. <laughs> Anyways, that's Jesus my little Christ. update. I'm not too pressed about things. I'm happy with the progress that I've made really focusing on myself. It's been a good life reset, mental reset. I still care so much, frankly, for anyone that I've ever been involved with. So it's nice to keep those positive relations, make sure everything's good, and still looking forward to the future. I will keep you guys updated. Bye. <laughs> Hello. Don't mind the makeup. I'm getting ready to go to a party, and I don't usually go to parties. Come get ready with me and I will try to take you guys along with me. I'm watching this YouTuber I really like. Her name is Kenny JD. She basically does summaries and reviews of really strange and obscure and often really shitty movies, but she makes it so entertaining. And for some reason, it's really satisfying to watch a summary of something that's really long, but in a shorter form video. I love that kind of content. Anyways, let's, let's get go. ready. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing and we'll go see how the party is. She used to be before she that's kind of dope as fuck. Chat, what do you think is gonna happen when like dudes start getting like lace front haircuts and shit and like start wearing like makeup Here and my little, oh, oh, like TV. lace front Sorry, beards and all best. types of shit like that? Like it's already on the rise. The diesel, what do you think is gonna happen when it gets popularized? The from, I literally do not know where. This butterfly is from Fred Siegel. The gold one, I've been trying to find where it's from. I think it's from Ana Luisa, but I couldn't find the link. I couldn't pick which dress to wear, so I asked you guys on the IG broadcast channel, and this is the one you chose i think good pick thank you i think a lot of times kage they be thinking like that bro because it's it's hard to date like it's hard to i i feel like at least because i feel like even in my life bro like my parents aren't you know what i'm saying extremely well off in any shape or you know what i'm saying fashion but they're definitely a little a little more what do you call it well off than the next person that you know what i'm saying could be 
necessarily poverty <laughs> poverty stricken okay but uh i don't know how to say that but anyway it's like i've had moments in my life where i've come to realize that like oh shit like there are certain people that will come into your life that aren't used to the things that you're used to and it it can it can almost like turn them into bad people if that makes sense you know what i'm saying like it almost like it, it can definitely change a person and it can definitely fuck them up a little bit. Ooh, excuse me. And then you have to worry about, are they in it for the right reasons? Like it's, it's, it's hard to find people who are okay in their situation. Like there are some people, bro, who they can hang out with somebody like fucking Bill Gates once a year. And then there's the people who like, if they had Bill Gates number, Every day they'd be calling him, begging him for money, sending him fucking cash app requests. Like, oh man, Bill, like I got this fucking crazy idea. Like, I just need like fucking 5K. Like, I'm I'm telling you, it could be crazy. Oh man, we could go so hard. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just it's hard to find people and to be able to trust and know that they're out there just for you. And then you gotta think about it. Think about you as a person. Like, how hard is it? For you, somebody who's not famous, to go out and find someone who's just there for you. You know what I'm saying? So then imagine how hard it is for a famous person who could just kind of, they could pick one person a day, maybe three to four a day to go out with. And still for three months after having four people a day, they still couldn't find one person that's decent. You know what I'm saying? So, like, it's just, like, are you willing to put that kind of time in there? Or are you willing to just kind of say fuck it and settle for some bullshit? You know what I'm saying? Depends, though, because sometimes the ones that are super rich, their whole lives are worse. Yeah, like, it's a lot of shit like that. Like, some people just suck ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, plain and simple. Some people literally are just, just shitty people. That's just how life is. It sucks. I'm back home. It's 1.30 a.m. I'm exhausted. <laughs> I've pieced together why I don't really like partying. Let me explain. I feel like... Oh, my God. Oh, I love this. Sorry, I can't wait I to hear your so take on this. I so much SNDM. So full. Okay, so here's why I don't really like partying. Basically, if I go to a party or a function, it's so hit or miss. It could be a 9 or 10 out of 10. Like, I could have an amazing time. Make new friends. Run around socializing with people. Just really feel like it's so worth it. But honestly, 70 percent of the time it's like a five out of ten you mm. go you're happy to say hi to a couple people and then you're just like i don't really like fuck with nobody here like i'm not really in the mood to talk to anyone you know it's i'm just, just here like, so inconsistent 10 to 20 percent of the time it's gonna be incredible a bit of the time it'll be mid and some of the times it might even fucking be bad however if I play video games or I partake in a hobby that I like. I watch a TV show that I like. I read a book that I like. If I do one of those kinds of hobbies instead of going to a party, oh, I know I'm having, I'm not even drunk, by the way. If you guys think I'm drunk, I haven't had a single fucking drink. I think sometimes when you're around a lot of drunk people, you start talking kind of drunk though. <laughs> Back to my point. If I'm partaking in one of those hobbies, I know I'm gonna have a good time. No doubt about it. 7, 8, 9, 10 out of 10. It's gonna be a good time. I go to a party, bro. This is up, up in the dice, air. And it's you never know. to be shitty. <laughs> so that's how I view it and how I kind of view going out. And maybe this is stupid, but I'm happy living my stupid little life, okay? I respect it, Pokey. You gotta do what you do, Queen. As long as you do what you do. You just gonna keep doing what you doing, what you doing, what you doing when you gotta do it. Cause if you do what you do when you do it, then you end up doing what you gotta do when you gotta do that shit, girl. What I'm talking about God damn, on that buddy. 
Oh my. Jesus, say. Just pass me one. 